wow, I can get nourishment from anything. Let's try. <laughs> there are people in this world, like monks, who don't eat at all. Just be like, uh, no food. This is possible. Our bodies can evolve within seconds. As I've seen dancers who are doing super insane body brain coordination, memorizing routine within two seconds off of a lunch of McDonald's. This fire, jump in my balloon, I'll take you higher, take you somewhere over the rainbow, get your ticket to the show. I'm like, oh, then it's not the food. And I've also had a friend who's never had a gut problem. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, then that means there's, it's not the food that's to blame. It's not the actual ingredients, which means the ingredients are poetry so when i'm being fulfilled actively fulfilled i'm at homeostasis and that includes breathing so like sending out my emotions and my everything my brilliance my energies it's giving room for more brilliance and energies to come in is conducive to calmness and gratitude i've noticed this week but i still have these thoughts like my mom buys flowers this morning from the grocery store and i'm just like oh, you know this insane garden out here it didn't make any sense to me so i was like like and i had the thought in my mind of oh, and i didn't say it to her so how i can smooth those over would be fabulous next steps but in general snarky comments have been at a minimum the correct response is compassion and just calm compassion courageous kind goals goal set so yeah goal set not met today but maybe tomorrow okay but then we went to build a chocolate thing and i was eating chocolate while i was building it i was like ooh, m m ooh, like yay and i was lean testing it my body was like yeah it's chill and i lean test and that means like i have the food in my hand and i put it wherever and i just let my body go like do i want to eat that and my body does not want to eat this portable speaker does my body want to eat this Yay, it's peppermint tea. And then I get home and they're all eating corn dogs and I'm like, wow, those smell really great. And then lean testing it at all and it was all just the same as like, as nutritional to me as this is. So I didn't eat any of it, but I kept having these cravings until I came out here and I danced. So that was the intention of this first blog, was just be like, food cravings in general, coming from somebody who's eaten very little for a week, are assisted by movement. This idea of freedom, this idea of fulfillment, of being a We'll figure it out. These conversations will come up and I'll figure out how to answer them and then I'll tell you. Gracias por uh, escucharme, Ing. Escuchum, could you please help me with Spanish? The Spanish version of any of these words. Spanish version for um, bailar, to dance, para, for tea, te, peppermint. Let's try that. Right, adios. Yeah. My tongue, tongue check, it's all not happy. White with cracks. The cracks are more about stress, like tension. But the white is more like that's my state of my large intestine.
I get hungry in here. Not sure why. Potentially because oil. That's kind of nice because my lips are always moisturized. Because it smells like food in here and because it's messy, so I may be uncomfortable by that. That might be a trigger, a trailhead that I can look into. And the ants love it. I know this after repeated experience, experiment, where I spit in a spot and then a couple weeks later I went to that same spot and I saw the ants had taken every single piece of dirt out from that like there's just like a cylinder like it looked like excavated this is a nice way to brush teeth for people who live mobily or anybody because I'm clean now so <sighs> That's gross. That's where I brush. And I apparently didn't brush the rest of my tongue. That's chill.